Oh, Quentin, you are quite the man, let me tell you. You son of a bitch. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is directed by Quentin Tarantino, stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. DiCaprio plays Rick Dalton, an actor that is known for his western roles. This takes place in 1969 Hollywood. Dalton isn't getting the recognition that he wants to get like he used to. He calls himself a has-been, but this movie follows him and his stunt double slash best friend, Cliff Booth, played by Brad Pitt. This is their misadventures. A lot of stuff happens in this film. Not going to spoil it, obviously. But if you know Quentin Tarantino, you know a lot of crazy stuff is going to go down. I was hyped out of my mind for this film. If you were to ask me my top five most anticipated films of the year, this would be in the list. I'm a huge fan of Quentin Tarantino. I pretty much like everything that this guy has directed. I have not seen Death Proof, so I can't comment on that. He's one of the best filmmakers working today. I love when filmmakers shoot on film. When they want to make actual films and not movies, I'm not going to get into that whole debate or anything, but like, I admire a filmmaker like Quentin Tarantino. He's the kind of filmmaker whose movies I go out of my way to watch opening day. So how do I feel about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Well, I'll say this. I wouldn't rank this among my favorite Quentin Tarantino movies. I would say this is one of his weakest films. That being said, though, I still really like this film. I saw it last night, so I had a lot of time to marinate my thoughts. When I walked out of the movie, I really wasn't sure how to feel about it. I knew I liked it, but I wasn't like sure if I loved it or if I just liked it. And in the end, I just liked it. It's a good movie. It's very entertaining. It's very enjoyable. It's a great time, but there are problems with the movie, and I'll touch upon those later on. But I have to get my pauses out of the way first. The thing that makes Quentin Tarantino such a great filmmaker is his absolutely brilliant screenplays. The screenplay here is fucking phenomenal. The dialogue is sharp, it's witty, it's clever. All the conversations that these characters have are awesome. They're so engaging. My favorite sequences in the film are... Or when we follow Rick Dalton and Cliff Booth. They're just talking. Like there's a great scene of them sitting on a couch. Watching one of the shows that Rick was in. And they're just talking. And it's so great. And you would think you would get bored by a conversation like that. But because it's Quentin Tarantino. And he's so good with his writing. You're not bored whatsoever. It's absolutely riveting. The screenplay here is great. I think it could be nominated for the Oscar. I think this film's going to do pretty well award wise. The acting in this film is so freaking good, I cannot even fathom how brilliant Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt are. First of all, they are class actors. They could do pretty much anything, and they never fail. These are two of the most gifted actors we have working today. They've worked with Tarantino before. Brad Pitt obviously did in Glorious Bastards, and then Leonardo DiCaprio did Django Unchained. They're so good together. I never thought that I ever wanted to see Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt work together before. DiCaprio is on fire in this film. He is so silly here. There's a great scene of him throwing the tantrum in the trailer after he screws up a take. It's so entertaining. And that's the biggest thing with this film. It's entertaining as hell. But back to DiCaprio. DiCaprio is one of my favorite actors. I would rank him in the top three. This is one of the best performances he's ever given. I think he's going to get nominated for this film. But the best performance comes from Brad Pitt as Cliff Booth. Every time Cliff Booth was on screen, it was literal perfection. He's a friggin' icon, this guy. Rick Dalton's, you know, all like, Ugh, I can't do this anymore. Ugh. And then Cliff's just laid back and relaxed. There's a lot of really entertaining moments with Cliff. But every time Cliff was on screen, he stole the show. Brad Pitt was insanely good here. I haven't seen him this good in years. It's been a very long time since I've seen Brad Pitt give that good of a performance. And with Ad Astra coming out this year, this is looking to be one of Brad Pitt's best years ever for film. All the other actors do very good. Everyone does good. I'll touch upon Margot Robbie in just a bit. But all the acting is very, very solid. The cinematography is so goddamn gorgeous. Of course, Quentin Tarantino decided to shoot this on film. I love that. I respect it so much. It felt like he took a crew, jumped back in time, 
and then shot this film in 1969. The production design is insanely good. I felt like I was in 1969 Hollywood. And I was just in Los Angeles back in March. And it was an awesome experience. But seeing the way Quentin Tarantino puts it here, it's ridiculous. No CGI. He literally remodeled Hollywood and made it look like it was in the 60s. And you got to give him so much credit. This PD work is going to get recognized at the Academy. The costumes are also great. The score, the soundtrack, dude, the soundtrack was so freaking good. I, I love the soundtrack. Quentin Tarantino is always great when it comes to his scores or soundtracks. Like, he... he I don't know how he does it, but he's just a man at what he does. The first and third acts of this film, fantastic. Absolutely incredible. They flowed very well. They were absolutely engaging. The third act is absolutely bonkers to the wall. It is ridiculous. It is wild. I thought Midsummer was going to take home the award for the wildest third act of the year. And maybe that's still crazier than this, but this is oof, this is insane. A lot of stuff goes down in the third act in normal Quentin Tarantino fashion. Before I get into my negatives, one last thing I want to touch upon. I appreciate how this film was very subdued and very laid back and relaxed. There wasn't much of a plot going on in this film, which was kind of surprising because in most of Tarantino's films, there is like a plot that goes from start to finish. There's a plot here, but it's not like as pivotal as it would be with his other films, if that makes sense. I enjoyed the subdued nature of the film. I enjoyed how calm and laid back it was. That could be a problem to some, and I totally understand that people may find some of it boring. There are moments in the film that do drag. There are some moments that aren't as engaging as others. But I kind of appreciate how Quentin Tarantino toned it down, and then he saved all the good stuff, the crazy stuff, I mean, for the last part of the movie. So to go into my negatives, I thought the film was a little too long. Two hours and 45 minutes. Most of Quentin Tarantino's films are long. Not that I was bored. It definitely could have been cut down. There were some moments that definitely dragged compared to others. The second act, while good, it was definitely slower than the first and third act of the film. I'm not going to spoil what happens in it. But... Let me just say that it's not as engrossing as the first and third act. And then, to touch upon Sharon Tate, you know, this movie's set around the time that she got horrifically murdered by Charles Manson, who's also in the film. I think what they did with Sharon Tate here, it threw me off a little bit. She didn't have a lot to do here. And if I'm being honest, she really didn't have to be in the film. It was the B-plot of the film. I get why she was there. But I don't think she had to be there. I'm not saying that it was bad that she was there. But I think the movie would have been fine if she wasn't there. It would have definitely shaved off a good amount of the film. For sure. Quentin Tarantino is a genius filmmaker. He's made countless amount of films. He's made nine films. And all of them are good. Again, haven't seen Death Proof, but all of them are good. He's one of the most respected filmmakers in the entire industry. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood had a lot of good stuff to it. It wasn't perfect like I wanted it to be. I didn't love it as much as I wanted to. I will be seeing it again. I don't know if I'm going to see it again in theaters. Overall, really enjoyable film. Very entertaining. Not one of Tarantino's best. It's one of his weakest films. But again, it's a solid entry in his filmography. Great acting. Great filmmaking. Great first act. Amazing third act. Okay second act. Really amazing dialogue. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was a very entertaining film. Very enjoyable time. I'm glad I got to see it with all my friends. It was definitely worth it. I'm going to give it an A-. minus. Guys, tell me down below what you thought of this film if you saw it. And what's your favorite Quentin Tarantino film? Thank you guys so much for watching this review. And I'll see you guys soon.